few flyers. Fritz did enough. So Oliver, though, was contained beautifully. There's the tackler. He doesn't individually get the reward, but his team might. Zaha Rakas. Smith, talking about famous numbers with clubs. The number five strolls in for a goal for the Bombers. And taking it at the line. Jones tries to hook it in. He does. Lever. Again, he probably doesn't want to blast. Well, he still kicked to a one on three, although there wasn't oh. many options. Neil Bullen takes it away, and Hannon has the joyous job of putting it through. Well, they have had some success with it as you watch this bundle around. It's just what you give up, isn't it, with yeah. Nathan Jones, whether they need him in there with no Viney. Here's McDonald tip and Woody, big opportunity. Oh, Stringer's oh, back on his own in the square. Turned his back, but he, he never looked back. Not interested. And a bit of a raffle when it comes to shooting for goal for the Bombers so far. That looks likely. Beautifully guided for his first. He is tackling by Oliver. That was nicely done to Lewis. Inside 50 once again. Um, scouting is the young oh. Kicks for goal. Oh. And he's pumped. Get around him. Bargo gets his first. Got hands to it, but only once. The Goddard hand pass is going to be okay in the end. Now Heppel and they're away. Here goes the run of Saad. Jetta chasing, he can't get him. Saad too quick. Down towards the half forward line. The bounce has got to be good. It is. Stewart steadies. Shoots and goals. And McNeese has got Zaharakis running and McGrath's overlap is outstanding. There's a ripple effect down the ground. Through the middle. Laverde takes it from Heppel. Stringer waiting and marking. Kick is a poor one. It's going to be chopped off. But Danaher might actually save him. He gets a hand pass over the back. Melbourne have got the numbers here. They can drift it into the middle and they do towards Melcham. Oh, great. Melcham goes long. Sensational kick. That's what we're talking about. Long bombs. And now the youngster Spargo is going to go back and try and kick his second goal. Hurley's on the charge through the middle. Ambitious kick into the middle for Heppel. Well done, Jetta. Now the Demons can profit. They're ready to pounce. Oh, Jetta had to run back around it and find it. Tyson gets Melcham. We know he is a beautiful kick of the footy. So he's not without a chance. He might hit up Hannon instead. That's a good kick. And the door might open for Jones here. He steadies from outside 50. And put it straight almost onto the chest of Saad, who dropped what he should have taken. And now he's given it away. Uh, right there, Sandy, is the difference between those... He has got one of the best field kicks in the game, Jake Melcher. Goes across the ground. Bailey French might have a shot here from 48 metres. The drop punts on its way. It goes right across the face. And Big Maxi is there. But he probably will, as you said. His set shots have been letting him down. And he comes. Check side. Oh, kicks the goal with absolute ease. To Jones. Good decision not to lay off Over. the first one. Now Oliver. Got depth on the kick for either Melcham or French. Great work, Melcham. Yeah. Great work, Jake Melcham. Yeah. yeah, well, that has been all too often, uh, Jason, in the first six, go five games of this season. So the connection's oh, been better. Salem oh. told to play on. This is a dangerous, dangerous play because Jake Stringer has pounced and he's kicked his second. Just can't get it clear. Saad. Almost threw that back. McNeese oh. under siege. Brilliant tackling from Hannon. On the ground, Hannon was there as well. Jones waiting down. Flicks it round the body. Where's Big Max? Well, he has it thumped away from oh. him. Oh! He changed his mind, the umpire. Well, I think he called Bagley front, front on contact in the end. Is it what it's been paid for, whether it's right or not? Oh, yeah. We saw him kick. Someone said something to Max in the crowd then. This for his second for the quarter. And to answer the goal from Stringer. Oh, no problem at all. Big Maxi has got two. And he steadies the Melbourne ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was right in his face, wasn't he? Look at that. Gorn and Oliver, who both flew. That'll be annoying. That will be yeah. annoying with 16 seconds on the clock to have possession. Oh, he played on. Played on. He played on. Oh, no. So that's it, McGrath. I'm sorry. That's cruel, isn't it? Gave it to Lewis. Hogan's ducked out the back, into the pocket, and he'll take the mark. I think he pointed the wrong way, and that's he what did. Michael Hurley's he saying. Yep. Michael Hurley ran off because he thought this and had the footy, and then it was turned over and he got caught out of position. Good lead from Brayshaw. Uh, he spotted him. He's just oh. left it hanging there. Oh, low. Hannon gets gifted. Well, right on the line. You'd love him like that every time. 
They're going to win and they're going to win well. Up towards half forward it goes. Wiedemann over the top. Takes a good mark. Plays on to Spargo. The young guns. Neil Bull and he'll kick a goal here. No, he'll go short unselfishly to Hogan. He looks like he thinks there's a chance from 65 metres out, but no. He eases the kick for Hogan. The good back. Fly at the front, but there's McDonald. <laughs> Around the corner. It's all come together for the D's. Two goals for Tommy McDonald. Much to Danaher. Danaher long in towards full forward. Maybe something here. A belated one. Yes, it is. As the D's go charging forward again. Up towards uh, half forward. And this young man has been so impressive. Can Bailey Fritch finish off a big day? He can. He splits the medal.